Hello everyone, NetworkWiz Kid here and in this video we're going to take a look at how to add Duo two-factor authentication to remote access VPNs when using the Cisco A ASA. Now in our previous video we looked at how we can add Microsoft two-factor authentication using uh, conditional access for the Cisco ASA Remote Access VPN connections. Now in this video what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can actually change that now to use Duo so that we can kind of make use of the rich feature set that Duo has to offer. So this is really beneficial if you want to do that or if you uh, would like to make use of maybe a Duo subscription that you already have so it's relatively straightforward. We have some documentation on the Duo website that you can go and take a look at. I'll include the link in the uh, video description. And as always, to kind of make use of Azure conditional access, you will need to make sure that you have a P1 or P2 subscription as pointed out there. Okay, so we have our VPN configuration set up with SAML as we did in the previous video. So if you've not seen those videos, I do urge you to kind of look back on my YouTube channel and uh, take a look at how we configured that. We've already verified that we can connect to the VPN and we've also tested that connectivity using um, the Microsoft two-factor authentication to authenticate those users. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on changing that to use Duo. So to start off with, what we need to do is we need to head over to our Duo admin panel. And then once logged in, we need to go to applications. And then if we just click protect an application, and let's just type in a jar here. And what we can see here is we've got two options, Microsoft 365, we're not looking at that one at the moment. We're going to focus on this one here, so Microsoft Active Azure Active Directory, two-factor authentication. And again, with the documentation, you can see it kind of breaks it down, at least for the, uh, for the most part, where you can actually uh, follow along here. So I won't kind of... Um, run through this documentation as we're doing it. I'll just kind of do it and uh, show you the video demonstration of it. So if we just click uh, protect, what it says here is before we continue, we first we need to grant Duo permission to read from the Azure Active Directory account. Afterwards, we'll be redirected to continue. So if I just press authorize here, And now I'll just log in to Azure with my admin credentials. And you can see here it's just asking me to um, accept the permissions. So I'll accept that. And now you can see I've been redirected back to the Duo admin panel. And this is where we get um, some custom code relevant to your environment. So what we need to do is we basically need to take this code under the custom control and we need to add this into Azure. So before we do that, if we just scroll down, you know, we've got other options here to use a universal prompt. You can apply uh, different policies. As always with this demonstration, we'll just leave this as default, but what we will do is we'll change the, uh, the name. So I'll just call this Azure CA demo. And then the rest of it we'll leave for now. So we'll just go ahead and we'll save that. So now that application's been created and now what we'll do is we'll just take this code, select this code, copy this code. And if we now head back over to our Azure tenant and we go to conditional access, 
you can see the one that we've uh, the, the one conditional access policy that we set up here for the previous video we'll just use that and we'll just modify that so we'll say we'll change the name to duo mfa vpn uh, we can see again that we've got the one cloud app which is our AnyConnect cloud app and then we're granting uh, currently on this one require multi-factor authentication which is going to use uh, the uh, Microsoft Authenticator there so we want to we want to change that now so we'll just leave that for now so let me just click off that and here you can see we have an option which says custom controls so what we'll do is we'll click on that and now what we'll do is select new custom control and we'll just remove the default text that's in there at the moment and what we'll do is we'll just paste in the uh, text that we got from the dual admin panel and then once done we'll press uh, create on there so we can see here now that's give uh, a name there of require duo MFA there. So once the custom control is done, if we just go back to our policies and we'll just modify that same one again. Um, so we'll call this one duo as we did before. And as in the previous video, we've got it assigned to one specific user for this, uh, for this test. We've got the... Um, any connect application selected there and now what you can see what we couldn't see before was this control here so right now we've got the requirement to use um, Microsoft's authenticator but now we're going to change that to actually use uh, duo so when we or when users authenticate now to the uh, VPN with the two-factor authentication, we should now be prompt uh, via uh, Duo instead now. So I'll select that, and then once that's done, I will save that um, new conditional access policy. All right, so this is our test machine now, and we just. We've got the AnyConnect client up, so we're just going to try and connect now and see what happens. So you can see, as usual, we now get the uh, pop-out browser to authenticate with our Azure credentials. So we'll continue here. And as you can see now, I'm actually being redirected to Duo as opposed to Microsoft. And I've just received that uh, notification through to my Apple Watch. So I'm just gonna approve that now. And there you go, you can see that I've logged in successfully. So after I click this, we now begin to establish that VPN. And there you go, you can now see that we're connected to the VPN so just like that that's how we can actually shift from using the Microsoft Authenticator for those with duo subscriptions and use duo as the uh, two-factor authentication mechanism for your remote access VPN connections I hope you found this video useful you do have the documentation on the uh, duo website as well to have a look again i will include that in the uh, video description but please if you've enjoyed or found this video useful please do support and give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe if you find this content useful thank you for watching